Today's a wrap, and we now offer the color purple to you all. Yes. 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 So yes. Bring yes. Christmas Day. Day. Merry yes. Christmas! Yes. Merry Christmas! After an extensive promo tour, which included producer Oprah Winfrey, very much part of the publicity campaign, the new movie version of The Color Purple hit theaters on Christmas Day. And while Oprah spent the day at home with her loved ones, including Stedman and Gail King, all dressed in purple, something was happening out there on the streets. Where did we just leave from? The Color Purple! Y'all ate that movie, baby. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Tamar Braxton showed that she and her loved ones made some time on December 25th to head to the theater. And I noticed an uh, unusual trend happening on Twitter. From midday on, The Color Purple was trending. That rarely, rarely happens on the day of a film's theatrical release. Like, I was trying to think of another example. I know there has been some, but yeah, it doesn't happen very often at all. And even more rare, Fantasia was trending as well. And then by the evening, Danielle Brooks was trending. That told me that people were just going to see The Color Purple. People were going to see The Color Purple. I can't believe this. I can't believe all the theaters are sold out. I couldn't find a seat. <laughs> Director Blitz Bazawule spoke to an audience before screening in Atlanta on Christmas Day. So I just want to say thank you all so much. We've already set a record at Warner Brothers already for the most pre-sales um, theater buyouts in the history of Warner Brothers. Thank you. And this is due to y'all. And he did get to watch it with y'all. And he tweeted, it really did hit different with the crowd. To hear the laughs, the gasps, the sobs. Wow, we really did that. All the theaters at the AMC were sold out. Really grateful for this moment, y'all. At 10 a.m. on Boxing Day, he woke to all the positive reactions to the film, including a cinema score grade of A, and Blitz wrote, What a Blessing, which was liked by Mahershal Ali. Wait for it, Blitz, though. Wait for it. <laughs> now, we didn't find out the opening box office numbers till Boxing Day, but of course, producer Oprah had the inside track. Family, here yes. we are. And she shared an update with those at her table on Christmas Day, and then posted the video on Boxing Day. This just in from Jeff Goldstein, head of marketing for... Warner Brothers, Team TCP, Merry Christmas and congratulations on our launch. TCP is off to an amazing start. We're <laughs> exceeding aggressive expectations. So I checked out what forecasters were predicting for the color purple. Box Office Mojo had an opening between 16 to $22 million for its three-day opening weekend. I'm not sure if they mean Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or they're talking about like the weekend coming up. Same goes for Screen Rant. They had it at 13 million. Yeah, no matter what, the color purple was underestimated. We're now headed at the moment to come in the range of 18 million today. Yes. At One this day. level, TCP would be the largest Christmas Day Woo! opening. Woo! That little one knows what's up. <laughs> so yeah, when the Christmas Day ticket stubs were all added up, the film made $18 million in its opening day, making it the second biggest Christmas Day opening ever, only behind Sherlock Holmes, which made $24.9 million in 2009. Okay. Yes. Woo! Yeah, Oprah was ready to celebrate. Fantasia shared Oprah's video and wrote, Painting the World Purple. On her own share of Oprah's video, Trudge B. Henson wrote, Y'all made the color purple the number one movie on Christmas Day. Thank you from our family to yours. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On her Instagram story, Oprah wrote, Love people understanding the assignment showing up in purple. Taraji, Fantasia, and Danielle all shared some of the images of people wanting to say, I'm here. Seeing the color purple, including Insecure star Yvonne Orji, who recorded the movie screen as the credits rolled. Yes, come on. Yes. Yes. This is no way to start. Everything about this. Uh, everyone Coleman Domingo also shared Yvonne's video and with the box office results he wrote thank you family let's keep those numbers coming and yeah with Coleman's words I'll just take this moment to um, encourage people who might have been thinking oh it's gonna go see the color purple to support it but now I see it's doing fine so I don't need to go no no you still very much need to go like this is an incredible out of the gate number but it needs to continue to make money like I remember when Ali came out in 2001 the biopic starring Will Smith as the infamous boxer it opened on Christmas Day with a very impressive 10.2 million dollars and then it absolutely crumbled it ended its entire theatrical run with only 58.2 million so it made almost a fifth of its gross on that very first day there's gonna be some changes made if the color purple ends up following that kind of trajectory it's only gonna make 90 million dollars this movie had a budget of 90 to 100 million dollars and that's not even counting the marketing of publicity so for the movie to make a profit which of course is what the studio ultimately cares about 
it's got to make like yeah to turn a profit we're looking at like 120 130 million dollars so yeah the color purple still very much needs your dollar dollar bills if you can afford it don't keep me waiting now back at oprah's table you think they're playing christmas music to celebrate hell no, no! Yeah, instead of Carol's, it was Danielle's voice, who was the soundtrack, as they played Hell No from the film. Hell no. No, 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 no. Which Danielle very much enjoyed seeing, sharing it on her own story. Danielle also shared the video for performing in the role of Sophia for the first time in 2015 on Broadway and wrote, It's been a long time coming, but we're here. Didn't come to play then. And sure enough ain't, <laughs> I'm going to say that wrong. And sure enough ain't playing now. I know I said that wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Corey Hawkins posted a bunch of behind the scenes shots from the movie shoot. As did Halle Bailey, including recording her vocals in the studio for tracks like Huckleberry Pie. And the original Keep It Moving, which she shared some rehearsal footage of. Days keep rolling by. Halle co-wrote the song. On December 21st, the Academy announced that it was among the 15 original songs out of 94 that made the short list still under consideration to be nominated for an Oscar. And voters will fill out their nomination ballot from January 11th to January 16th, with the nominations being announced on January 23rd. Superpower, sung by Fantasia, is also in the top 15, still in the running. Now today, in celebration of the box office numbers, Coleman posted a throwback video from the movie Shoot, where the cast and Oprah danced to a different original song. <laughs> Yeah, Cool and the Gang celebration recorded in 1980 got them all moving in between takes. Congrats to the color purple and go see it in theater still. I will be.